another new commander could be coming soon to rise of kingdoms this is not a leak this is official information that comes from a rise of kingdoms advertisement and it's an ad for none other than the greek civilization and i know what you might be thinking omniarch we already have pirates in the game and by the way i didn't actually expertise him that was just a meme that i posted on my community page if you want me to open 400 gold keys for him let me know in the comment section below but also we're not talking about pericles either okay Pericles and Pyrus are the two new Greek commanders that came into the game with the launch of the new civilization but a third new commander was revealed in an advertisement so today we're going to go over everything we know about this commander why the developers said that it could come to the game and whether or not I think this commander is actually going to be good or not but first what's going on guys cheers it was 93 degrees in New York City today I hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are but let's just jump right into this okay because where is this news coming from of a third new commander coming to the game well this is the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel and if you guys have been paying attention to that YouTube channel over the past couple of days they have released three new cinematics all of them are called all civilizations begin with fire all three of these are incredibly well done and and the first thing I noticed when I clicked on one is that the narrator for these videos is none other than Matt Pat from game theory this is a massive 17.6 million subscriber YouTube channel I'm sure you've come across some of game theory's videos but Matt's voice is pretty recognizable and I've seen quite a few of his videos so when I first clicked on the video I dropped a comment saying I know that voice that's theory a game theory because everybody knows that voice if they've seen the channel now of course I thought it was cool that I recognized the voice and that the rise of kingdoms account actually left a heart on my comment which means they were acknowledging that I was correct in my guess but then I thought why would Matt Pat from game theory be narrating a rise of kingdoms cinematic it makes no sense so today we're gonna go a little bit deeper we are gonna be the theorists here for this video okay and the reason for that is because of a marketing push that is behind the Greece event this is the civilization clash event now this event if you're a player of rise of kingdoms you probably didn't even know that this event was going on because this event was marketed towards audiences that don't actually play rise of kingdoms it's not like the creators of rise of kingdoms were sponsoring me or chiskel or chinchi or somebody else to be a part of this event no this event was exclusively for new players and i love that that's so good for the health of rise of kingdoms but i i thought it was interesting that i literally didn't even know that this was a thing and it's a big thing okay because first of all the prizes here are crazy you can win an apple vision pro that's not even out yet okay so you're gonna have to wait a couple months before you get your hands on the number one prize but this event is a bunch of different content creators going up against one another I guess their audiences going up against one another to see which of the civilizations actually wins this event so game theory is representing the ancient Greece civilization he says Greece cool gods beautiful beaches and home to the smartest minds of ancient history Greece is peak civilization that's not theory that's a fact but we have other very prominent content creators here okay we have phase rug representing Egypt he said I mean who could say no to Cleopatra listen bro rug I hear you brother that's true bro here we've got demolition ranch I'm not familiar with this gentleman but he's representing the uh, Viking civilization here we have Kalis we have Ludwig bro I watch Ludwig how do I not know about this he's representing the Germany civilization truly a god gamer civilization for god gamers like myself we even have Jimmy here this is this is the it's Wednesday my dudes guy okay and he's representing France which is lit and then we have Schlatt we have Jay Schlatt coming up as Schlag okay representing Rome <laughs> he says Rome is best because of the Pope obviously and listen <laughs> bro I love Schlatt I mean Schlag he's he's hilarious I would go with Rome if I were you but basically these content creators were sponsored by Rise of Kingdoms their audience would then come to this website and they would choose which civilization that they want to join or uh, sort of represent and then there's little daily quests here okay and in order to participate in this you have to play Rise of Kingdoms like you have to be a new player you click log in here you put in your game ID okay and then you complete these quests and you can win rewards these are little scratch offs and of course first place is going to win the Apple Vision Pro they're also giving away Amazon gift 
cards ps5 all this other stuff and, and silver keys okay there's also a little gift code uh this only works for new players i don't know why that would even matter 20 silver keys is garbage for old players so why not just give it to everybody so this is a cool event that's going on right now since the launch of the greek civilization that i didn't even know about and maybe you didn't either i thought this was pretty cool when i found out about it but i didn't really look any further because i thought to myself okay well it's just it's a marketing push who cares right like of course they've got a bunch of big content creators that's amazing I love that it's great for the game right that's the truth I love that but then I was on Instagram and I actually got a rise of kingdoms ad and I thought it was interesting because now not only is Matt Pat from game theory having a voice as the narration but he's also in the video so I had to stop my mindless scrolling and I thought oh let's let's give this ad a watch we're no strangers to watching rise of kingdoms ads here on this channel but my mind was blown when I heard what Matt said in this ad so let's go ahead and watch this together shall we calling all trolls calling all trolls I am in a video game and you can name me anything you want he said he's in a video game and we can name him anything we want okay interesting clearly rise of kingdoms is in the background here so you're gonna use that power for good or evil probably evil anytime that you let the community vote on things on the internet typically it ends up in sketchy uh sketchy territory okay you ever been on 4chan matt pat yeah that's what it ends up like the, the game rise of kingdoms just released their brand new cinematic trailer called all civilizations begin with fire and you know anything or anyone in particular pause enhance yep that right there that is apparently me i am officially part of the lore for this strategy game okay so that's interesting he says that he is a part of the lore and sure enough if you watch the first all civilizations begin with fire video there he is he's literally right there that's matt pat from game theory apparently i guess i see the resemblance also is he giving us the finger right now anyway we're not done with the ad but there's one problem here my character there doesn't have himself a name and rather than just going with Matt Pat, rise of kingdoms thought it'd be a lot more interesting if they gave you the chance to name my character so go ahead click the link that's been pinned down in the comments of this video to go to their trailer and leave a comment over there letting them know what they should call me give me your absolute worst it can be anything you want just don't put in like maddie mcpat face that'd be dumb okay maddie mc pat face would would be atrocious and you might be thinking okay omniarch who cares he's literally in a cinematic it's a marketing push it doesn't matter people are just gonna drop a comment for engagement and and like they're gonna download the game they're either gonna play it or they're gonna quit this is literally not a big deal whatsoever but wait for it if you go and download the game using my link in the description you can actually go and vote in their civilization clash event well there vote for greece if enough of you do that rise of kingdom said they'll actually consider adding me into the consider adding me in the actual game okay so what he just said there is he was telling his audience to come to this event that we just went over and to pick Greece because like we said he's representing Greece and in the ad he said that the developers of rise of kingdoms told him that if enough of his audience actually comes and picks Greece they would consider adding this character to the actual game actual game stupid name and all so stupid name and all that means we get to pick what the name of this character is now listen okay this blew my mind okay because this would not be the only time that a new commander is added to the game as part of a marketing push a lot of you new players probably don't remember this but there was a marketing event that happened with Lu Bu from Dynasty Warriors 9 and it also included Dao Chan as well both of these commanders were added to the game as part of a co-marketing attempt between rise of kingdoms and dynasty warriors 9. we did end up getting two new commanders added to the game so it would not be out of the question for rise of kingdoms to add matt pad from game theory as a new commander in the game now i'm sure that they don't want to name him matt pat because that would destroy the lore of this game it would make no sense to have a literal youtuber in rise of kingdoms okay and i think that is why they asked the community to essentially drop in the comments what they want this character to be named so what do we do now that we have this information okay well first of all uh we don't even we we have to essentially vote for Greece in this event I guess if we want this commander if we want this person if we want Matt Pat from game theory in rise of kingdoms you have to make a new account in rise of kingdoms come down here log in okay 
and pick the Greece civilization so if you're watching this video you probably already play rise of kingdoms and if you do and you're sitting there with nothing better to do I would recommend creating a new character on rise of kingdoms and, and let's let's do this let's make it a thing let's create let's take your new UID okay which if you don't know how to find that uh it's in game this is I'm on PC but you just tap your name in the top corner and you'll see the your ID right here this is what they're looking for so you can literally create you can go into settings and create a new character you can log in here and you can vote for Greece so that way we can skew this in favor of game theory and and maybe if he gets enough votes we can actually get him in the game which is actually crazy now last time I checked Greece was in first place for this event I think I have to log in again to check the the standings and I'm honestly too lazy to do that but it doesn't matter now the second thing is what is the name of this character right because we have to vote on it so where do you actually vote well this is a little bit weird uh I think you can vote perhaps on the advertisement that we saw like he literally says in the ad that you can go down to the link in the description and uh put in the comments what you want his name to be okay I don't know how to find this ad directly but there's another way we can vote because on the official rise of kingdoms YouTube channel they pinned a comment that says check out this special series voiced by Matt Pat his character is in need of a name so comment below what you think it should be why would we need to name a character from an advertisement unless they planned on potentially adding him to the game now of course if this is super popular I think they might consider it if it's not very popular then they probably won't but we already have a character design and a model like they've literally already done all of the artwork there's no they don't have to put any visualization into this for the rest like it's already done so you can literally come here and you can put in the replies what you want his name to be and you can see that I threw uh I threw my suggestion in there okay do I think he'll be called Voldemort no probably not but uh the current number one winner right now is Maddie McPatface which is actually what he said he did not want to be called in in the ad which is why it's probably winning I I mean I literally told you at the beginning of the video if you've ever used 4chan whatever you don't want to happen is what will happen if you ask the internet to do it now one other thing that we could do if we're feeling ambitious if you've been watching this video as long as you have then maybe you're feeling quite ambitious about this one of you could comment Omniarch you could literally comment Omniarch and they will have to consider naming this character who is supposed to be Matt Pat from game theory if I can by making this video if I can skew the results in some way we might actually be able to have them call this character Omniarch even though it's literally not Omniarch I mean I don't know you I honestly don't think that'll work uh you guys can try it if you if you're feeling ambitious I just thought it would be funny I put in Voldemort you could put whatever you want here but this is this is a real thing they're literally taking votes for a new character being added to the game we've already seen new commanders added to the game as as a result of a marketing push so it's possible that that could be a thing now let me just go out on a limb and say that they only mentioned that they would add him as a character not necessarily as a commander so what does this mean well uh he could be present in other things so for example you go to the Lyceum of Wisdom I don't know what his actual name is but it's possible that they could like replace this dude with Matt Pat from game theory and you know he would just be a character that's kind of present in the game you know sort of like the uh mysterious merchant right the mysterious merchant comes around maybe they could replace the mysterious merchant as Matt Pat from or whatever they decide to call him okay so what I'm saying is there's other characters in the game that aren't necessarily commanders in the game okay that's possibly what they could be meaning they could maybe put in an event in the game that uses him as a character instead of some other NPC for example or they could do what they did with the Ninja Gaiden promotion event and actually add him as a default avatar selection so they could literally add Matt Pat as a avatar that comes along with a bundle I guess like that's 
that's what they did here with the ninja gaiden thing i actually think the ninja gaiden uh, promotion was a massive missed opportunity imagine how cool it would be to have ryu hayabusa whatever his name is i, I forgot his name i apologize if you're a ninja gaiden uh player but if we had him as a commander bro that would be so cool the game is is lacking in ninjas we need more ninjas i've been asking you guys put hanzo in the game bro put hanzo in the game how many times do i gotta say it he's awesome this was, this was a missed opportunity in my opinion but they could technically add matt pat as a default avatar selection character that would be hilarious and i think trolls would probably choose him over this dude because this is what all the everyone knows this is what all the trolls pick also how many of you guys have a 2018 halloween event avatar i bet you not that many of you huh yeah i've been playing this game for a while boys <laughs> okay so let's presume that he could be added as a commander i don't know what his name would be it's up to you guys to vote but if he comes to the game if this character model whatever his name is if he comes to the game will he be broken will he be good i suspect the answer is no and i think that if they did go through all the effort of adding this commander to the game as a part of a promotional event for uh for greece i think it would probably be pretty similar to lubu that's i mean it would either be a legendary like lubu or it would be uh an epic like we have with dao chan those are the only two commanders we've seen i believe added to the game as part of a marketing push and i just i mean of course dao chan is actually pretty useful for peacekeeping to be honest i actually use dao chan whereas with lubu i don't use him at all which is funny because he's way cooler and he's a legendary and yet he's useless uh and also these two are unattainable at this point but i think if they added matt pat from game theory as a commander he would probably be a leadership you know just kind of throw away cookie cutter like a uh, random legendary that you know is basically noob bait okay if you play the game because you like game theory and you get him as a commander you would be uh incentivized or you would be uh, more willing to maybe expertise that commander uh and little would you know that that is a massive mistake if it does end up being a generic leadership commander like Lu Bu, or they could put him in the game and make him basically a Julius Caesar clone okay that's what they did with Ragnar if you look at Ragnar's kits he is very very similar to uh Julius Caesar when you can when you can, like I know their active skills are a little bit different but when you look at like kind of everything that they're doing as a complete uh complete kit they're both leadership conquering and attack we see that over here on Ragnar uh it's very similar stuff between the two commanders they're kind of just uh you know like somebody copied your homework and changed it a little bit so that we didn't you know the teacher doesn't notice uh, I suspect they would maybe add it as a sort of Ragnar Lodbrok uh clone and it would be sort of just another useless uh legendary or maybe even epic commander in the game so uh if you're worried that a new commander might be coming uh and you're worried that they're adding too many new commanders all at the same time uh don't worry okay it's probably not going to be something worth investing in i can almost guarantee you that um lubu was an absolute joke so I don't think it would be worth your attention so don't worry about that but i want to know your thoughts in the comment section below i think this is really cool and i want to see more things like this i don't know about you guys which is why i'm genuinely asking for your thoughts and opinions but i want to see more collaborations i know that it sort of breaks the immersion of the game a little bit but i'm a big fan of doing everything in their power to get new players to join the game i think rise of kingdoms is a really good game and i want more people to play it and if it means that we got to put matt pat from game theory in the game that's fine okay that is fine i think that that is really cool i would love if they did more promotions like imagine imagine if the new fable game comes out and there's like a promotion where like the character from fable is in rise of kingdoms that would be sick and also like maybe i'm biased as a youtuber but i like when youtubers are literally a part of a game or the marketing or something i just i think it's cool i think it validates what youtubers actually do as like a real job or like something more than just like this casual passive entertainment that you watch occasionally i don't know again i'm probably biased anyway again i want to hear from you guys in the comment section below do you think they should do this i think they should while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace